Hey guys, it's Ali, and in today's video, I want to talk about some AGTube trends of the past that you may or may not have forgotten about. So these were trends or general types of videos and things like that that were super popular back in the day. People still post these things occasionally, but you might have forgotten that these trends existed as I did for some of these. So without further ado, let's get started. I think the most notorious American Girl AGTube challenge that I never really see done anymore is the dress your doll blindfolded challenge. Now I never posted one of these videos to my YouTube channel, however back in the day when I used to watch AGTube, I definitely did this challenge myself off camera or pretending I was on camera. So this challenge, if for some reason you are unaware, you blindfold yourself and then you have little buckets of your doll's clothing. So you'll pick an outfit and you'll have to dress your doll hoping that you put the shoes on the right feet, picked out a matching pair of shoes in the first place and put everything on the correct way. And then some people would also add another aspect to this challenge and try and do their doll's hair blindfolded. And then you would take off your blindfold and reveal it to yourself how good you are. I definitely felt like this challenge was easy back when I tried it. Maybe it's because I definitely did not have as many doll clothes as I did now. I had a pretty good idea of what everything I owned felt like and finding shoes wasn't too hard for me. But this challenge is definitely very nostalgic for a lot of people, including myself. And maybe we should bring it back. Dress your doll blindfolded 2022, anyone? So the next one isn't necessarily a type of video, but it is something that if you were around AGTube, I don't even know what year was this, like 2015, 2016, you definitely have seen this. And that is the whole hashtag AGZ crew thing. So American Girl had a web series on their YouTube channel called AGZ crew, which later turned into the doll that was available for sale named Z Yang. She was an AGTuber and she would feature people's videos. I forget if it was just at the end of her videos, or I know she did a whole award show thing at the very end of the season season and she featured people's videos and things like that. This whole trend was happening when I was just starting in AGTube so I never really participated in it except for this one video I made which is like a what's in my doll's backpack. It's super cringy but that's I think the only video on my channel with this hashtag but it was pretty much a way for American Girl to hopefully recognize your video and a lot of videos I remember watching around that time had that hashtag. There was the whole way back in the 50s one which I think American Girl ended up featuring and a ton of other things. So if you remember that hashtag, comment it down below and I don't know, do we need to revive that too? But I think it's more American Girl who needs to take the initiative on reviving that one. Now this next trend was a little bit more recent and this is one of those trends like a lot of AGTube trends that started off in other niches of YouTube such as lifestyle and then people adapted it to fit the American Girl niche. I don't know if Dress Your Doll Blindfolded was popular in another niche, maybe doing your makeup blindfolded, but then how would that work because you have no access to your eyes. I don't know the history of that, but this one definitely originated from like regular YouTube. Not that AGTube isn't regular YouTube, but that is the whole sibling, parents, blah, 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 voiceovers my video. So in other niches, you would see this as my dad voiceovers my makeup tutorial or my dad voiceovers my shopping haul. And what I remember seeing a lot on AGTube was my dad narrates me dressing my dolls or my dad voices my AGSM. It didn't necessarily have to be your dad, but I remember dad ads of AGTube being very popular in these types of videos. Once again, a trend, actually, I didn't even participate in this trend either, but I do remember watching videos of this trend and I'm sure if you look up things like my dad voices my AGSM or my dad voices my DIY tutorial, AG, something like that. Videos like this will pop up. One of the biggest trends that I can remember in modern YouTube history was the whole 100 layers challenge. Now this one I know the full on history of because it was started by a fellow Canadian, Simply Nail Logical, Polish Mountain, where she tried to put 100 layers of nail polish on her nail. And then this trend went so viral. This is what made Simply Nail Logical famous. People were putting on on 100 layers of clothing, 100 layers of foundation, all these things. And of course, AGTube decided to participate in the trend as well, with the most notorious version of it being 100 layers of doll clothing. People would try and put as many pairs of pants on their dolls, and then they'd switch to shirts, jackets. I don't think people really layer in shoes, but you would pretty much try and put as many pieces of clothing on your doll as you can and make your doll look like a giant abominable snowman in the end, pretty much. I don't think I ever tried this trend out, probably because I 
was too scared about stretching and ruining my doll clothing. But kudos to anyone who did this challenge because the amount of time and effort it takes to put that many layers of clothing on your doll was super impressive to me. Now, this trend, once again, is not really related to AG2, but it's definitely a nostalgic thing in the AG community, and that is blogs. Oh my god, remembering the blog I had to keep up in grade 9 English class for points. Yeah, blogs definitely are not as popular anymore, but they were the thing back in the day that almost every AGTuber had. There's one blog I specifically remember watching. You don't watch blogs. There's one blog that I specifically remember reading, but I cannot remember the name of it. But like they had like a camp every summer and they had like guest people doing their posts and stuff like that. They posted DIYs, doll reviews. Like they had the doll Starbucks that inspired my doll Starbucks I made back in the day. Oh my God, I wish I could tell you more to help you guys remember the name of this blog, but I'm completely blanking even though I visited this blog every single day. But a bunch of AGTubers had blogs as well, such as Basil Mentos, and they would post updates there. I think AG Overseas Fan also had a blog that I watched back in the day. You don't watch blogs. Why do I keep saying watched? You don't really watch blogs unless they embed a YouTube video, but yeah. Blogs, I think, definitely fell out of style and YouTube videos definitely took over. I am not a huge writer, so I don't think blogging is for me. I don't know if this trend would ever come back, but it's definitely very nostalgic. The next one is modeling competitions. So this was revived a little bit when Forever and Always decided to start up AG NDM. And I was never super involved in the modeling competitions like with most of these trends, partly because this was a little bit before my time on AGTube, but I definitely remember seeing people's videos about modeling assignment and things like that and being very confused because I was not really involved in that whole era. But people would pretty much host these modeling competitions. Your doll would apply and they'd be given like a mission and you'd have to take photos based on that and it was a huge thing and then it got revived with AG and DM in a slightly different way but this is definitely a trend that especially with AG and DM everyone was doing a modeling competition I did one that was more so photography based and then so many AG tubers made these competitions and some of them are definitely still going on today so this trend is still very prevalent but I don't think it's as big as it used to be finally this trend is a another more recent one, but maybe I'll do another version of this because I really enjoyed it. And that is having your friends dress my dolls. I do not remember who started this trend, but I remember being aware of it from, I think, AG Jitters. She made a video doing this where she would call a bunch of her friends and we would have to pick her doll's top and shoes from some pre-selected pieces. And then I also made one of these videos too. Definitely a more recent trend. I don't think it was as big as the 100 layers challenge or dressing your doll blindfolded. Will anything be as big is dressing your doll blindfolded? I don't think so. Definitely a trend that maybe we should bring back and I am down to make another video of my friends dressing my dolls because I feel like I have way more clothing pieces than when I made that video and I could definitely get some different people's opinions and styles than my first video. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that little trek down memory lane of some AGTube trends and there are definitely a bunch of trends that I missed so feel free to comment them in the comment section below and maybe I will make a part two with each even more trends if you guys enjoyed this video. To show me you enjoyed this video, feel free to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more American Girl videos. And of course, have an amazing day and I will see you guys soon with a new video. Bye!